Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to bend this pipe along the line. I got a question directly from you, so let's try if I will find some solution for you. Yep. First of all, I will create new 3D model and we can create, for example, solid part. Doesn't matter, I like to show you the transformation from solid to sheet metal, but also it's somehow possible to do it with sheet metal directly. Let's see. So it will be named, for example, pipe. And what we will do at the first, we will create a sketch. So I will create a sketch and will be directly banded profile. So what I would like to do is I'd like to reuse the sweep feature and then transformation to sheet metal. So let's try to have a look and put there some dimensions. Let's have a look. Doesn't matter. Yep, something like this. And what I need to do is to create the sweep feature. So we will create a sweep feature and we will reuse existing sketch. And in the sketch, we can try to create symmetrical rectangle. And so for example, like this, and dimension will be something around 50. So what does it mean? If I will finish, it will be direct profile and we will transform this profile as needed. So datum planes and nodes we can hide. And let's try to transform to sheet metal. You are able to choose operation convert to sheet metal and then I like to transform as the shell feature. So we will remove these surfaces and for example, we will set thickness, for example, two millimeters. Okay, it looks like the standard profile banded, but what we would like to do is create the conversion feature. So I will reuse the conversion feature directly in the sheet metal mode. And as the first, I will create a band or edge bands. So what is necessary to do is necessary to select every edges also, you can do it automatically if you specify it, rip and so on. But I'd like to show you how you can do it step by step, one by one. So not so hurry. Yeah. So every everything what is here, we need to bend. So I can come from OK. And also what we need to do is rip connect or edge rip. Yeah. Simple. We will select the edge and the system will create the rip here. But also what we need to do we have to connect these edges and create the rip connect. Yeah, so I will select and use the rip connect. And now it's really hard to select necessary points. So I will not use the visualization. So I will switch off the visualization. And then it's really easy with control button specify the connection on the line. So I will confirm, you can see here, that is the first rib. And what we need to do is also create rib on the bottom side. So with control button, we will create an answer the second rib. If I will confirm, now the system will create rib line for me. Looks great. And I will finish. But now you need to only imagine that we would like to unbend this feature around this bend line or bend curve profile. But over here is the problematic surface. So what we need to do, we are able to select the surface rip and we will remove two surfaces. So if I will finish, now looks good. And now let's try to create the unbend feature. Yes, of course, on the picture was the special shape here. I'd like to show you in the second example. So what we would like to do, we will re reuse the unbend feature. The system will show me a really nice preview but if you will hit the button, the confirm, the system will show you the failure. Yeah, so now something is wrong. And what does it mean? You are able to continue. And what we need to change is that if you will check the references, over here, the system apply all bended geometry. So if I will transform from automatic to manual selection, we will see here so many rounds and these rounds system would like to unbend, but it's not possible. So we will remove all and we will specify that this surface will be as the bend geometry. And yes, of course, if I will confirm now, the system will use the unbend features. So for example, here now, it's the same as was the source profile. And if we will hide this first sketch, 
nobody knows how it was made. At the end, what you would like to do, you would like to use the bend back feature, confirm OK, and if you will use the simplified representation, you can show bend back feature or unbended profile as needed. Yeah, also you are able to create a flexible modeling and then will be closed or open as needed. So it was example that we have reused the conversion feature. I will go back here on the summarization and we have used rip connect. Yeah. But question maybe is that how to create by your custom profile, custom sketch. So let's make some modification and I will delete a few features. Yeah. And in the conversion, I will go back here at the definition and I will remove the rib connect. So in the placement, we will delete all. And what does it mean? We'll be not divided these surfaces. But all other features are there. So round feature is there and also edge rib. So in the here inside, it's profile splitted. And now, what does it mean? We would like to continue with the custom rip, so you can re easy reuse the sketched rip. And you can right now create your custom line, yeah, which will be, for example, from this point to this point. And we can create, for example, circle because on the picture I have seen it was some circle there. So, and we can delete unnecessary edges. So we can really easy delete unwanted edges, specify our custom dimensions, value and confirm OK. Looks good. Also, we would like to do it on the opposite direction. So we will use the sketch a drip. And now if I will hit the control five, the system will show me the hidden edges and we can really easy reuse the projection. I don't need to the make a sketch again and only confirm OK. And if I will hit Control 2, the system will again show me the shaded edges. You can see here Control 2, Control 5, this is hidden and shaded with edges. It's only quick map key. OK, definition of splitting surfaces is done. Again, what we need to do is remove these small surfaces. So we will reuse the surface rip and we will delete what is not there and what is not necessary. And now if I will use the unbend feature again, but custom one, I will delete all necessary bend geometry and we will specify only one. Now the system will create the shape as needed. Yeah, I hope so that you like it. And also, again, if you would like to create a bend back feature, no problem. The system will put it back and everything is as needed. So it's up to you how you would like to do it. You can do it directly with the conversion feature with the straight line. Or if you would like to use the custom shape, you can use the feature sketcher rip. I'd like to thank you for a question. Stay tuned. Support me or donate me by coffee and bye bye Vladimir.